Welcome back, everyone, and we are ready for the next mystery. Tre oh, gosh. Treasure in a royal tower. I got lost, and he was like, treasure in something. I, it's the Marie, Marie Antoinette one. I love Marie Antoinette. It's that one. <laughs> it's that one. This is the game that sparked, literally, my love for Marie Antoinette. So, that's what this one is. I'm super excited. Let's jump right in. Hi there, it's me, Nancy Drew. You're just in time for my latest mystery, Treasure in the Royal Tower. Choose your difficulty Whoa. level to start off. That was if a If you're new to adventure off. games, you might yeah, yeah, want to Yeah, 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 we don't need no choice. See your attack. Dear George, so much for my Wisconsin ski vacation. I arrived here at Wickford Castle last night, just before a blizzard swept in. Well, the that's good, I guess. The mountain is completely shut down, and the surrounding roads are closed. I think I'm one of the few guests who made it to the castle at all. The place is huge and old, and slightly creepy under the circumstances. You should hear this wind. What's more, the owner, Christy Lane, my father's friend, is away on business. I tried to ask the caretaker, Dexter Egan, how I could contact her, but so he touchy. said he didn't know. Doesn't so that touchy. seem odd? I couldn't help feeling like there was something he wasn't telling me. All this makes me a little nervous, but I'm determined to enjoy myself. After all, this is a vacation, right? I have big plans to explore the castle. That Ezra Wickford, the original owner, must have been quite a character to have built such an extraordinary place. It's filled with strange, dead-end corridors, for one thing. And I notice one of the towers is totally different from the other ones. Of course, I'll have to save some time to meet Jacques Brunet, the French ski instructor. <laughs> Tell Bess she'll be the first to know if he's half as gorgeous in person as he looks on his website. Oh, so, George, I guess things never quite go according to plan. But at least this time, the culprit is just a snowstorm. Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. All right. Now all I need is a mailbox. A mailbox? What? <clears throat> what is that noise? Well, I mean, there's the wind, obviously. But the hissing noise. Something's hissing. Okay, got my room key. Oh. Uh, I, I think I should write that down. Alright. Locker 310. And the combination is 517. Locker. I didn't write locker. I should probably start writing what all these numbers mean instead of the scratch work that I usually do. Ah. Alright. Okay, what is making that awful noise? Can I make it stop? Oh, it got louder. Oh, is it, it this? Like the radiator is broken. Well, can I fix it? Nope. Well, I have to listen to that some more, I guess. Oh, yes. Here's this. Oh, gosh. Alright. Vacation resort. In an old castle. That would be pretty cool. That would be kind of fun. What a good idea. Anything in here? What about in here? Oh, a menu. Wakefield Castle menu. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Desserts. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Better than nothing broccoli surprise. The cheap stuff. Alright. Okay, got me a menu. Uh, I'm not sure why I put the menu in there. I mean, it's my clothes. I guess I could have... Oh, here's my phone. Who do I got? Operator, Ned, and George. Oh, no Bess this time. Maybe Bess will be with George. <laughs> Let's hope Bess is with George. Let's call the Operator. Is that like the front desk? Tell them my radiator is making a god awful noise? It's still ringing? Is it just gonna keep ringing? Uh. Well. I'm gonna go with yeah, so, alright. I'm not gonna call anyone yet. Same, okay, so same alarm system so I can pick it night or day. That is so loud. Fingerprinting. Open. So. 
sassy detective. That would be fun. When we touch things, some of the oil from our skin is left behind on the surface of the things we have touched. Our fingertips each have a unique pattern on them, and the oil shows, or prints, this pattern. This is how we get the term fingerprint. When you touch several surfaces with the same fingertip, the oil begins to get used up, so the fingerprint becomes lighter and lighter. The most common method of discovering fingerprints is called dusting. When you brush a light powder over a surface, the powder, or dust, will cling to the oil left by fingertips, revealing the fingerprints. Remember, fingerprints will appear in darker or lighter shades depending upon how much oil is present. Now, sassy detectives. Put two and two together to figure out how to determine a keypad access code. Here's a little test. If you saw the four fingerprints below, what order would you put them in from first to last? Will the darkest fingerprint be the first button that was pressed or the last? So then what is the code? <clears throat> All right. Well, if you have more oil, then that's the first time you touched it. So this would be 1735 is what I'm guessing. That's a good tip. I feel like I will have to use that knowledge at some point. Oh. Is this my bathroom? Oh, I can't go to the bathroom. What if I have to go? I feel like someone needs to know about this. Oh, I can't look at the... Someone needs to know about this horrible sounding radiator. Oh, nice. Oh, I forgot how beautiful this stuff is. Oh, I love it. I love old castles. I love the stonework. I love the architecture. Oh, gosh. It's so pretty. I also feel like I'm going to get lost. Okay, let's go towards the lady first. Oh, okay. So I do have some signs with room. Oh, that's right. It's a ski resort. So that makes sense. So if I go all the way down... Gosh, oh goodness, it's dark. Ooh, it's I can't see. It's too dark. I should take the elevator. All right. All right, so my room's down here. I go this way. Oh, here's the painting of Marie Antoinette. I love Marie Antoinette. Okay, ooh, was there stairs here? There were stairs here. Okay, let's, uh, but let's, let's stay at the front. On the front, on this floor. Words are hard. Well, actually, maybe I should go down Dead to end. Like... Oh. Alright, so this hallway goes nowhere. Good to know. Maybe I should go... Maybe I should just go downstairs and... Tell someone about this radiator. Anything to click on? Anything at all? I don't want to go outside, but... Probably too cold to go outside. Ooh, what's over here? Pepper Cliff Farms. Wisconsin. I wonder if these are real places. Can you handle the view? Wisconsin. Ski Wisconsin. Pierre Chateau. Lake Pond. And of course, Wickford Castle. Butter Ridge. <laughs> Ski Resort. Lando Lakes, Wisconsin. Butter Ridge. So we must be on Butter Ridge. Butter Space Ridge. Not like Butter Ridge. Like, I don't know what that would mean anyways, but... Ah, here we go. Hello, Miss Drew. Did you get squared away upstairs? Yes, but... Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay. Yes, well, fix thanks, that radiator. No, I can't stand my that room noise. Is charming, I feel like it's gonna but explode. But I think there's something wrong with my radiator. <clears throat> but I don't think radiators are supposed to hiss. And there's a clanging noise, too. Would you mind checking it out for me? Sorry about that inconvenience, but you're just gonna have to sit tight for a while. I'm the only one on duty while the owner's away. And around here, it seems like even if it ain't broke, uh, it still needs fixing. I Last mean... time I checked, there were only 24 hours in a day. And now, to make matters worse, there have been a couple of incidents what all right uh, I feel like this is kind of like a name drop maybe we'll do this one what kind of incidents someone vandalized our historic library really turned the place upside down the owner miss Lane she's gonna be pretty upset why would you want to vandalize the library when could this have happened let's what? 
Uh, let's go when west. When this have happened? I have no idea. Time frame I straightened there. up in there before check-in yesterday, and everything okay. was fine. Now it looks like a bomb went off. Books everywhere, and somebody hacked a big hole in one of the walls. I locked the place up and called the police, but who knows when they'll be able to get here. Okay, well, yeah, everything snowed at a hole in the wall. Um. Points of interest for me. Okay, let's go for this. Wow, what do you think they were looking the for? What's in the library what that do you people think they would were want? Looking for? I can't tell, but somebody's definitely after something. All right. What, what, what else? else has gone wrong? Well, this Professor Hotchkiss just called me in a terrible flap, saying our room's been robbed. I went up there, but she wouldn't open the door to talk what? about it. Wouldn't even tell me what was missing. So what she want me to do about it? Okay. Let's offer help. Offering Sounds help like is you're always swamped, a good thing. Mr. Egan. Is there any way I can No help? reason why you well, can't help each Hotchkiss other out. Hotchkiss has a pair of ski boots in the basement. The Frenchman's been working on them for her, but he won't deliver them. Says he's a ski instructor, not a bellhop. <laughs> I hate to ask this, but if you could grab those boots and bring them up to her, it might smooth her feathers. Sure would smooth mine. All right, that's fine. Uh, I'm not gonna okay. annoy him. I'm See not you, gonna. <laughs> Goodbye. Let's help him out first. Let's help him get some stuff done here. <clears throat> All right. Um. Let's see. What's down here? Oh, this place is so cute. It's just, oh, it's pretty. Can I? Uh, I love castles. I want to stay at night in a castle. This would be amazing. I wonder if places like this really exist in Wisconsin. Because it's, I would totally go. Oh, Marie Antoinette, born in Vienna, Austria. I know so much of this already. I love Marie Antoinette. This is what made me so interested in her was this game. It's ridiculous. She was the youngest daughter of Francis I and Maria Theresa, Emperor and Empress of the Holy Roman Empire. In 1770, as a young teenager, she was obliged to wed Louis the 14th of France. That's not right. 16th of France to symbolize an alliance between France and her parents' dynasty, the Habsburgs of Austria. Four years later, Marie Antoinette became Queen of France um, when, her hus or when her husband was crowned King Louis the 16th. As queen, her lavish lifestyle made her unpopular. While the commoners stood, uh, stood in bread lines paying, praying for food, they cursed the queen who was living so comfortably in her grand palace. The people's discontent grew and grew until a full-scale revolution broke out in 1789. In 1791, it looked like the monarch, monarchy would not survive, and Marie sought assistance from other European rulers. <clears throat> it was arranged for the king and queen to escape Paris on the night of June 20th, but revolutionary forces apprehended the royal couple at Varennes on June 25th and escorted them back to Paris as prisoners. On August 10th, 19, 1792, the monarchy was finally overthrown. Marie Antoinette spent the rest of her life in partisan prisons. Louis XVI was executed on orders from the National Convention in January 1793, and in August, the Queen was put in solitary confinement in the Concierge. I think that's how you say that. Marie Antoinette was brought before the Revolutionary Tribunal on October 14th, 1793, and guillotined two days later. She was executed without proof of the crime for which she was accused. Alright, and then this tells us about a guillotine. Joseph Guillotine, National Assembly in France, 1789. Most humane and efficient form of capital punishment. At that time... Yes. Yes. I feel like I might need that picture later. Alright. Close. There we go. Storming of the Bast Bastille. July 14th, 1789, an angry partisan mob stormed and captured the old royal prison known as the Bastille. The mob was looking for weapons and ammunition. The governor was killed. The seven inmates, none of them political prisoners, were freed. After the prison was overthrown, its thick walls were torn down when told that 
what had taken place, King Louis the Sixteenth exclaimed, Well, this is a revolt. No, sire, was the reply. It is a revolution. And indeed, the first outbreak of violence marked the true beginning of the revolution. After July 14th, there was no going back. The mob who participated in the takeover later became known as Les Van Queers de la Bastille. Whatever, I am not, I can't pronounce anything. All right. <clears throat> Jean Lee Bouet. Born to peasant farmers, Jean Libouif became one of the comrades of the French Revolutionary Army at the age of 22. He is best known for foiling Louis the Sixteenth and Marie Antoinette's attempt to escape Paris. Okay, so he's the one that caught them. Uh, later, he became a general under Napoleon Bonaparte and a member of the new French aristocracy. Uh, died in the War of 1812. Alright. Uh, were named in his until the 1920s when his then impoverished family was forced to sell off the estate. Sad. They lost their, like, entire home. Alright. Must be just those two books. <clears throat> Oh, there's a person. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lisa. Did you hear what happened? Someone broke into the library and vandalized it. Dexter locked it up. All He's right. saying the culprit must be one of us in the castle. Can you believe it? Yeah. Yeah, Dexter just <laughs> told me the library is a disaster area and that it's totally off limits. Too bad, huh? I'm dying to see what they did to it. Don't quote me on this. But I think Dexter has an extra key to the library somewhere around his desk. Oh, you want me to get it? You want me to get it, do you? Alright. I guess you've really got your finger on the pulse around here. Any other castle scandal <clears throat> I yeah, Lisa. know about? Oh, we got scandal, honey. Ooh. Professor Hotchkiss is claiming she's been robbed, for one thing. But the real scandal is downstairs. His name is Jacques Brunet. Jacques Brunet. Yeah, what's with what do you Professor know about Hotchkiss? Professor Hotchkiss? She's oh my the gosh! One with the Wait till you hear this. The Hotchkiss is this nutty old woman professor? who's always typing and talking to herself in her room. <clears throat> I was walking past her door earlier, and I heard her screaming <laughs> that her room had been robbed. Yeah, this is her. Yeah, what did wow. she say was stolen? Did she say what was stolen? Not that I could hear. She just kept wailing, All My right. theory, my theory. I think she teaches history. Or maybe a foreign language. I thought I heard a couple of French words pop out of her mouth. But don't quote <laughs> me on that either. I only barely passed Spanish in high school. All right. Do What's you your have theory? a theory about all this? Hardly. I'm just a humble photojournalist covering weird old mansions in the Midwest. And this place is one of the weirdest. All right. Did you know Ezra Wickford, the original owner, shut himself away in here for like 50 years? Uh, <laughs> I wonder why he was so social. Uh, Creepy, I don't have to right? Be I mean, did we stumble onto the set of As the Castle Turns or what? Well, <laughs> you probably want to get settled. I wonder what we're going to do with ourselves while we're all cooped up in this place. I'll let you get back okay, to your bye. magazine. Stay warm. All right. I will. I will stay warm. Thank you, Lisa. Alright, um... So I went off to the left of the desk. Let's see. What's down here? Oh, there's all these tapestries. <clears throat> so beautiful. Alright. Oh, that must be where the... That must be, like, the stairs up. So this is down. In the basement. That's where the Professor Hodgkiss's boots are. That's what he said. So, dang, there's a lot of stuff. Can I look at it? No. I feel like I should eventually. Ooh, can I, aha, here, I can look at this. What is this? Elevator reset. I don't know. There we go. I, hopefully, it's fine now. Feel like I shouldn't touch these. <laughs> Why don't they have that locked? Okay, screen rentals there. What's over here? I can't. I want to open the doors. 
Hello there, dead end. Oh. My name's Nancy Drew. Hi, Nancy Drew. I'm Miss Master. How are you? Nice to meet you. All right. Okay, well, not... Can we... How do I... There it is. That was weird. All right. Let's go see Jacques Brunet. Jacques Brunet. Jacques. <laughs> I mean, that's how it's spelled. Am I wrong? Oh, elevator. Boop. Did it work? It's locked. It's locked. It's gotta have been like the first sound bite that they made for Nancy Drew, right? It's locked. It's locked. Ten dollars a day. Oh, well, for are they like more advanced? Oh, tot, junior, senior, adult. All right. Oh. Thanks for the paintbrush. A knock, a knock, a knock, a knock. Nobody's home. Jacques must be gone. Oh. Oh, darn. Alright. Snowboard package, snow blades. Okay. Can I look at the map? I cannot look at the map. Let's keep going. Oh, these are lockers. Well, yes, duh. Was it locker 310? Are there. I can't. Oh, I can't see the numbers. Ooh. Oh, I don't know the com. What is that noise? What? <laughs> oh, that was scary. Thanks. No locker 310? I gotta be able to. Oh, here we go. 310. All right, five. One, I hope I did this the right way. I have to go all the way around, don't I have to go all the way around? It's been a while since high school, guys. One. And then I can go directly to seven? The combination is five, one, seven, but it's not working. I wonder right. if the lock is broken. Oh, I don't know. Is it? Can't you just tell me it's broken? I wonder if the lock is broken. Apparently, I can't do anything else. Okay. Does the paintbrush help? <laughs> Sorry. No. Um, okay. Let's <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh, the North Pole out there. Close the door. I don't even have a coat on. Do I go outside in this one? Oh. Uh. Oh, because he was going from noon to two, and it just okay. Got it. Got it. Bonjour, got it. Mademoiselle. Je m'appelle Jacques Brunet. So, what brings you to beautiful Wisconsin? Um, let's do this. Bonjour. Let's Je be polite and Drew. not just go like straight to business. Vacation. What's your excuse? Uh, my excuse? Yeah, that's what I asked, right? Yeah, what brings a professional skier from France Why do I, to I Wisconsin? Why sound so snotty? Why not Aspen or Lake Tahoe? I am here for Isabelle, mon petit chou. She's, She's an American studying at the university in Madison. Oh, and I've asked her love. to marry me. That is excuse enough to be in Wisconsin, n'est-ce pas? And besides, I am not the first French work of art to end up here. Alright, Jacobelle and Marie Antoinette stuff. That's a fine excuse. Let's do this work one. Of work art. of art. What are you talking about? I am speaking of the Queen's Tower, of course. It comes from the Chateau Rochemont in a town in France near where I grew up. Didn't you notice it when you drove in? Oh. The whole tower? Yes, Alright. I did notice. 
What an amazing feat it must have been to take that thing apart and put it back together. The French are talented people, Nancy. We are good at many things, not just making wine and romance, you know. But tell me, right. how will you spend your time here, Nancy? Uh... Wander around and become an expert on this castle. Oh, I'm just going to so wander do... around and become an expert on this castle. Uh, I should warn you, Dexter is very protective of this place. <laughs> he does not take kindly to people snooping around where they should not. <laughs> Don't worry, Jacques. The last thing I want to do is get myself grounded. Joe! Oh, no. Oh, Nancy. Come on, Uh, boots. Give I boots. need to bring Professor Hotchkiss her boots. Do you have them? Uh, yes, I fixed her boots. Uh, but you should be relaxing All by right. the fire, nice sipping cocoa, boots. Nancy. I'm not running errands for Ew, Dexter. It's fine. What's Tell in me the about box? these boxes you're making. Also, when I, I am not skiing, one of your I need some other way to express myself. So, voila! I make these hot boxes for keeping secrets safe. I'm sure you have many secrets, Nancy. Ooh, Dexter told me the combination to my locker, number 310, is 517. <sighs> I tried it, but the locker won't open. Nope. Hmm, Dexter must be confused, because I think that is the combination for number 311. I'll try 311. All I'll right. talk to you later. Allez, bye bye. Allez, bye bye. I wonder, I wonder what all those words mean. It would be interesting if I actually knew French. Ooh, no, wait, I need 111. Five. And then go all the way around to one. There we go. Oh. This is not my stuff. What is it? I want to know. Oh, no. Open. Alright. Oh, this is Lisa's? Uh, he Helen's? Is your name Helen? Oh. Oh. Uh, Somebody has some fake passports. Oh, geez. I don't know what this means. <sighs> November 2000. November 30th, 2000. Lisa. So she does know. This is this French? I think. Or, I don't know. Maybe it's Spanish? I don't know languages. I took sign language. No sign language, so I don't know the combination to my own locker. But I now know Lisa's combination. Just no, Nancy. all right. Como se va? I'll talk to you later. Oh, no. apparently I don't tell him that. That's still not my locker com. I apparently just don't care. I can't look in the window. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with that. The elevator isn't working, and the door is unlocked. What? I'm now turned around. I need to go this way. <laughs> 